No, nah, for real. What's up, gems? It's your girl, Chucky, and I'm back with another. Um. <laughs> Duncan Ada <Duncan> Music. <laughs> If you watched the last video, you already know that um, we got a house full of sick people, pretty much. Um, but I need to take a shower and I wanted to go ahead and wash my hair while I'm in the shower. So my scalp needs some love, y'all. Like, look at this. I'm only gonna show y'all this part because my whole head looks like that. Um, I mean, like, it's bad. Um, so today, I am doing a bacon soda and pink Malaysian sea salt scrub. And this has um, uh, Malaysian pink salt, regular salt, bacon soda, olive oil, um, 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 a little bit of the, my own oil mixture. If you have not seen that video, go ahead and go check that out. Um, and it also has uh, tea tree oil in it. You already know tea tree, tea tree oil is an essential oil. And it pretty much gets the blood in your scalp. Um, what do you call that stuff? Um, it stimulates your scalp or whatever so your blood can get to flowing and you know stimulated scalp makes your hair grow um so the olive oil olive oil teacher oil you already know that same thing moisturize the scalp all of my scalp the baking soda is just going to give me that deep clean um I'm going to add apple cider vinegar when I rinse out. That's going to activate the baking soda onto my scalp. And then the salt is um, really just to scrub my scalp. Um, I seen one person do this and I can't remember the name. I can't even remember the video that I seen and I only seen one person do a actual, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I can't remember um, whose video I seen use the um, pink salt because I was looking for a good scalp scrub and there was only one girl who actually did a scalp scrub that was of African American descent and a natural. Um, so y'all already know I'm all about my DIYs. So I'm not going to keep rambling because I don't feel good. Um, just standing here is bothering me, but my hair been needing some some love for the past two weeks, and I have not done that, so whatever. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. I was going to detangle, but I'm too lazy for that, so I'm going to detangle in the shower. So let's see how this goes. So I'm just going to section my hair off into two sections just to because um, I don't know why, just two. Now when I get in the shower, I'll probably section into more. Damn, I made no ponytail holders in here. And she so I'm just going to clip this part away and then I'll clip this part away. And so, ow, I'm just going to, where my part is, I'm just going to take this just a little bit and put on my scalp. Oh, this is messy. Let me turn, y'all, so I can get over the sink, because this is messy. 
Oh, oh no, oh no, y'all. So it looks like what I'm going to have to do is just go through and section my hair and place the salt in there and then go back through and like um, massage my scalp because like my hair is absorbing the oil. And like the salt crystals is just so freaking matted oh I'm sorry y'all y'all can't even see me I'm trying to bend over like the sink so that I won't get the salt everywhere. Oh, oh my God. I don't know how much of a good idea this was, but we're going to see this. See what? What was it? Oh, about it being in the Bible? Yeah. yeah. It's messy. Okay. Um, we gonna put this away. is a lot heavier I should have left it grounded but I felt like the way that it was grinding the salt it was just making it too small to scrub my scalp like I wanted to um so uh I don't know it's like separating all right, Dems, I'm back, and I must say my scalp looks really good. Like, I can, like, really, really see my scalp. I mean, like, 
really see my scalp. Yeah, my scalp is. Um, I was being nosy. Yeah, my scalp is like super, super clean. Um, I did notice when I was rinsing it out, my hair was really soft. Now, like I said, I did add um baking soda to it. I didn't rinse with apple cider vinegar though. I said I was, but I didn't. Um, but. I added the baking soda, the salt. Well, I told y'all what I added. I'm not about to go over that again. But like I said, my hair was very soft when I rinsed it out. Um, my scalp is super clean right now. My hair is super, super soft. Like, it feels good. I do notice there are still a little bit of... Um, what's this? Is that my hair? Or is that my scalp? Um, yeah, so I've, I've scratched a lot. So I do notice that there are some um, scabs still in my hair. Like, I don't know if you can see that on my nail, but that's a piece of a scab from my hair. Ew. So, yeah, my hair is soft. I washed with um, the Miracle Drops Therapeutic Shampoo and with the Mane and Tail Shampoo. And then I conditioned with the Mane and Tail Conditioner. Um, and then I rinsed out with cool water and my hair is very soft. So I think I would do this scrub again. I think next time I may actually, um, I don't know. I think I might change the recipe or try to find some salt that's a little smaller pieces because that was very messy. Um, I don't know it was just it was very messy now as far as the salt like being in my hair I thought I seen particles but that's my scalp from scratching so much the salt just dissolved in the warm water um so I would definitely do this again and you can see my hair just it looks healthy it feels soft and it just Yeah, so I would do this again. Um, if you want like another scalp scrub, yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.